so it has been a minute since I've actually had my face in front of the camera and talked but um, I was just spending time with my family over the holiday weekend and yeah that, that's what I've been doing and I hope you guys have had an awesome holiday weekend as well um, it is Monday yesterday was Christmas um, I'm gonna sit down here because I have nowhere else to sit down so we are adjusting slowly to Germany um, our sleep schedules are still a little out of whack we just we sleep a lot um, so last night we went to our sponsors house he and his wife invited us over for Christmas dinner and it was such a fun time their little girls were so sweet and we stay there from like 6 until like midnight um, it was around 1230 when we got back because they live on post in the housing area that we want to live in or that we're hoping to live in um, so it's about 30 minutes away so it was kind of nice to see exactly how long it takes to get from one of the main parts of or from one of the main posts I should say um, because the post that we're on now has like the biggest change and the bowling alley and just like different things so anyways um, we got back at 1230 didn't get to sleep until around 1 I'd say um, and we slept almost a full 12 hours we woke up at 11 o'clock like all of us and that's just crazy because the day before I thought that our schedules were on track because we slept really well at night when we were supposed to and we're still sleeping so the jet lag is still there but we are slowly adjusting this week we start the whole in processing um, thing I, I don't know how to explain it basically we have to go to some classes um, mostly John John really is the one that has to go to a lot of them but there are a few that I need to go to just because they're helpful basically they tell you how to live in Germany what to do in case of emergencies um, one of them takes you on a ho not a hotel a uh, hospital yeah that's the word I'm looking for a hospital tour and also there's a housing one that I need to go to um, and that starts on Wednesday we got here kind of at a rough time because obviously you know it was Christmas and then next week is New Year's so we're kind of like bouncing around like in between um, days off for people so basically Wednesday we have a class and then we don't go back until the following Monday so <laughs> it's kind of weird but at the same time it's it's good because it wasn't like we got here and we had to go boom 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 classes 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 and John has to go to work so it's nice that he literally has um, some time off and to get adjusted before he really has to go into work so that's nice um, the post that we're on now like I said it has the exchange just like literally right behind where I'm sitting <laughs> right over there so that we can walk to um, over here that building right there I don't know if I'm pointing to the right place but that building over there that is the bowling alley um, obviously down there is the playground that the kids love to play on so we've been going to the bowling alley quite a bit we haven't even bowled yet but we've been going to the bowling alley just because they have some good food their um, little snack bar is really really good and also they have this really cool indoor play place for the kids and they love it so that's where we will be going when John has to go to the classes that I don't have to go to we're just gonna walk over there um, those days and spend several hours wearing them out in there so if any of you guys are watching um, and you're about to PCS here to Stuttgart and you stay in the Panzer Hotel that's gonna be your best friend if you have kids <laughs> because they will love it um, we've met a lot not a lot of people but we met several people who um, some of them are here at the Panzer Hotel some of them we met over there at the bowling alley at the play place and they have been just so friendly so welcoming um, including our sponsor and everyone here is just so extremely friendly like back in the States 
you could walk past someone and they don't say anything to you they just kind of go about their day but here like every time I pass someone I don't know if this is just a post thing because I've never really been out in Germany yet um, but every time I pass someone, they either say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. They always smile and talk to you, um, which is really, really nice. Like, I love that. I love how sociable and friendly people are. Even though I'm not the most sociable person, it forces me to be, and I like that. Like I said, we won't know anything about housing until we go through the brief um, to figure out how long, roughly, it might take for us to get a house. To be perfectly honest, as much as I would love to get in a house soon, I'm not in a rush for it. Um, the hotel is really nice. It's a good size suite. The kids don't seem to really mind it. Granted, we've only been here since Thursday. It's Monday, so we haven't been here that long. So I'm sure I'm going to eat my words, but not yet. I haven't had... A problem being in the hotel yet. John has gone to get a haircut. Um, he has to go into work tomorrow. I don't think he really has to work per se, but he does have to go in tomorrow and so he went to go get a haircut. Um, and I don't really do a lot of talking to the camera when he's with me just because he always laughs at me or he does something to make me laugh. So, I always wait until he's gone, just because I can actually talk if I don't, if I'm not being interrupted by, by my children. You can have water with dinner, okay? We're about to eat. I did not realize how quickly I would be sick of fast food. Um, we've been pretty much eating fast food roughly since... I mean, right before we left California, we started having to eat fast food just because we didn't really have any kitchen stuff to cook with. We didn't have a place to eat, so we just kind of grabbed fast food as a quick substitute. Um, we obviously had to eat it when we were at the hotel in San Diego right before we left. And then ever since then, we've had to eat it a lot. Um, so I'm just, I'm sick of it. I'm just, it just does not make you feel good. There's a gym here on the seventh floor. So, either tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to start going to the gym there and taking advantage of it because I need it with eating out this bad. I'm out of it. I'm still out of it. I'm probably going to be out of it for another week. I'm just trying to get us into a schedule and to get me into a routine. Um, once John gets back, I'm going to go do laundry because that kind of gives me a sense of normalcy because obviously I did laundry all the time. But I can't clean, really. I mean, I can clean, but they come in and clean every day, which is nice. Um, so, I just, I don't know what to do besides take the kids to the park or the playground or in the bowling alley or the exchange. Like, there's not really a lot for us to do, especially without having a car. But um, I've heard that the bus transportation here is awesome, so we're definitely going to take advantage of that once I can figure out all of the bus routes and the bus schedules and all that stuff so fun stuff fun fun stuff like a lot of people these days I've been hooked to my phone yeah. for a while um, I do business with posh on my phone so it's been slightly difficult getting used to not having a phone but it's also been nice at the same time not having to keep up with one be like oh crap did I grab my phone I don't have to worry about that um, it's just kind of annoying when like when John or I go out to, I don't know, the store and we're like, oh crap, we needed this and we can't call each other. He has a burner phone. It's like one of those prepaid little cell phones um, that one of the guys that he works with let him borrow. It's like his extra one. So that was nice of them just so they could get in contact with him. And that's pretty much all we have. We're not really in a hurry to get a cell phone right now for us like a cell phone plan just because we want to wait until we get settled um, because they do have contracts and we want to get into a house first because they also have plans that go through like a home phone that we can call for home internet cable and then an actual cell phone plan that's like all bundled together which is really nice to have here um, so we're waiting to see when we can get a house and all that good stuff and what the different plan options are and all that but anyways guys sorry this vlog wasn't anything exciting hopefully soon we can go out into town and adventure and show you guys 
a lot more exciting things. But until then, this is our life in the hotel. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.